Hi everybody, welcome again to another uh, Market View video spotlight. Uh, I am Mike Martin and back with us again permanently I think is John Fanning, our, yes. our buyer um, and owner of Solera Wine Bar. Correct, thank and, you. And upstairs is uh, called Cheshire. Cheshire, which now has air conditioning. It does, yes. Don't, yeah. don't, don't stay away. Yeah, that's a great thing because it's, it's really hot up here. Um, so we're back um, and I think what we're going to feature uh, today is um, a couple wines from Michel Chapoutier who's a big uh, producer in the Rhone Valley and now he's got property, uh, I guess he's got property in Roussillon? Uh, property in Roussillon, yeah, uh, several ventures in Australia, um, kind of making wine all over the world, looking into Priorat, uh, seventh generation winemaker for the Chapoutier brand. Mm. And we are going to try both the Rosé and the Cote de Roussillon blend today. Yeah, tell us. Um, this this Cote de Roussillon blend uh, got a big score from Parker. Yeah, kind of an unheard of rating. Uh, we're selling for eleven ninety nine, yeah. I believe eleven ninety nine, ninety two to ninety four points yeah. from Robert Parker himself um, on the Wine Advocate website. Uh, I I can't recall if we've ever seen a rating that high for that price range. Yeah. So uh, kind of a unbelievable score for the for the price. Yeah, John was able to get us a hundred cases and maybe more in the fall. Maybe uh, we're keeping our fingers crossed. Cases we're working through now mm -hmm. we may get some more in July I okay think, actually. We're, so there was a to. there was an email campaign but anybody who might have missed that I thought this would be a good opportunity because uh, we're down to what 40 cases out of 40 100 cases, maybe yeah. so yeah within two weeks there's or still less, yeah. there's still time okay well, well let's start it's uh, start with uh, well, Vinda Paydock from from Roussillon this is the Bill of Hope Rosé and it is a blend of Grenache and Cinso 2011 uh, this is eleven ninety nine. Mm, nice. Is it speaking to you? Yeah, loud, <laughs> loudly and clearly. Um, just very, very fresh. It was Provence style rosé, uh, bright acid, really, really clean fruit. I, I, probably my favorite style of rosé. Not, not too, uh, not too dark. Just a little time. Not, not too dark. Yeah. Not, not, not really jammy at all. Yeah, this smells great. Raspberries, um, strawberry. Something I was just reading about, because I was curious, was uh, on almost all Chapoutier wines, you will see Braille on the label. Oh, yeah. And uh, apparently he was, Michel Chapoutier was close friends with a famous French singer, whose name I don't remember, and he talked about how any time he went to a wine store, he had to bring a friend with him to, to help him choose wine, mm. basically. So on, I believe since early 90s, every Chapoutier wine, and I guess what's actually on there, not that I can read it, mm -hmm. is producer... Uh, the color of the wine, red or white, mm -hmm. vintage, region, and blend, and yeah, all of that's, that's right. all of that's on the label in brown. Yeah, I've forgotten about that. You can just feel it right on the front. Yeah. So that's, that's pretty cool. Okay. Well, yeah, this is this is delicious, and it's about 110 up here, and it's very refreshing. And we could just probably <laughs> sit here and drink this wine, but yeah, really, really perfect good. wine for a hot attic. Yeah. There you go. All right. So moving on to the 2010. This is uh, the Levinia. Levine Bill of Hope 2010. This is 11.99. Both 11.99. They both discount down by the case, by the way. So it might be a nice mixed case to get. Um, Syrah, Grenache, and Carignan for this blend. I was pretty excited to taste this because we've been selling it all week, and I just haven't had a chance to try it yet. And seven year old Grenache vines. Um, again, Chaputi fam family originally based in the Rhone region, but bought property in. Uh, the southern French Roussillon region, just to kind of find a better or different expression for Syrah and Grenache as well. Mm. So uh, a newer project for a, a very historic wine wine family. That's really good. Pretty fantastic. It doesn't yeah. seem like, um, I don't know, this wine seems like you can drink it right now. Like, mm. it's like maybe not one to, to lay down and age for a long time, just, just consume it. I agree, really accessible. And I think coming in October will be the, the next level up, the Occultum Lapidum, which uh, will have an extremely high rating as well for, mm -hmm. for really not much more money. So uh, yeah, those are the two Chapoutier wines. Yeah. I think drinking really fantastic right now. The Rosé we should be able to have, I think through the oh, summer yeah. definitely, but the, uh, the, the Bilo, uh, the Le Vignet is kind of get it, get it while you can. Yeah, very, very good. Well, thanks, good. Um, so uh, I think next uh, next one we're gonna try the uh, Michel Chapoutier's project in Australia. Australian project, yeah. yeah. For next, so look uh, look for that one coming up. Um, and everything is biodynamic too, I think. Yes. yes. Yeah. As far as I could tell, everything they do is bi biodynamic. 
All right. Well, very good. Well, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.